even the income screenshots they're sharing aren't just fake, they're worse than fake. Didn't he make a bag off of selling his soul? Nothing you are seeing. 99% of the time, none of it is real. You might want to listen carefully and push everything aside because what my mentor and myself are about to expose right now in front of you could change your entire outlook on your journey of being an entrepreneur, trying to make money online, trying to be successful in life. And I believe that millions of people need to see this message because if we can fight against the corruption and the massive amount of scams that are going on, we can get rid of the bad coaches, the bad influencers, and the bad people who don't actually care about your success. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and watch because this is kind of crazy. Do you need to head out or? What? No, we, we have time. I have at least two hours before jet leave, so we are uh, planning to go ahead and ask me what you want to know. So you're here for a reason. You said that basically the entire digital marketing industry is, is pretty much fake. Well, what you don't understand is that it's all a f***ing scam. And they prey upon people like you, like me, because they think that you just don't get it. Most people don't. Because when you see people, just think about it, like, like, like Alex Ramosi, who for years told his entire audience, I will never sell you anything. I don't have anything to sell you. I don't sell to the everyday marketer or everyday person. And then he literally proceeds to strictly sell only to those people. I mean, what does that tell you? It probably wasn't the, the best move for him to make. Probably the worst move. It's probably the worst move Alex could ever take. Because, you know, of course Alex made a bag. But when you think about it for more than two seconds, anyone who actually thinks about it, didn't he make a bag off of selling his soul and going against his entire brand name and what he's been telling people for years and he did this in for millions of people? Like, what, what does that tell you about someone like that? Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. What, what about people in the industry who are legit? Mm, you have maybe Frank Kern. The stuff you teach is pretty good. There's maybe a couple others that are actually worth it. But what everyone just doesn't get is that literally 99, I'm not talking about like a lot of people, I mean 99% of every single influencer guru person you see who's trying to tell you how to make money online out there, all of their cars, all of their watches, their entire lifestyle, even the income screenshots they're sharing aren't just fake, they're worse than fake. Because the majority of the time, the videos, the imagery, the proof that you're seeing isn't just not even that, it's fake. It's something that their competitors posted. Are they steal from a competitor? and then use for their own business. So nothing you are, this is what people don't get, nothing you are seeing, 99% of the time, none of it is real. Which is why so many people hate marketers, they hate salespeople, because the vast majority of everyone in this industry is uh, a fucking scam artist. So how can you tell who's real and who's not? Well, it's, it's not impossible, it's almost impossible. There's maybe only one or two ways that you can break through and see if an influencer or a person knows what they're talking about. And that's through the depth of what they talk about. So if you're talking to a salesperson, they can actually walk you through sales psychology or in their videos, in their marketing, in their content. They walk through actual, real, in-depth, not like not like general stuff. They'll go through in-depth sales psychology, how it works, how it affects the customer, how to handle objections, how to, you know, any number of things. Sometimes that's mostly your only way to know if someone's a bullshit artist or if they actually know what they're talking about. Because the, <laughs> um, what you don't, you probably you realize this, but most people don't realize it, is the vast majority of people who are selling you anything, if it's a course, if it's an agency, if it's a consultant, those people, 90% of the time, are hiring other agencies to fix their marketing. 
for their clients and for themselves. They don't even do good enough marketing to run their own company, yet alone for the clients, which is, yeah, it, it's a fucking joke because every consultant needs another consultant, needs another consultant to help them get leads and customers because they actually can't do it on their own because the, this is the biggest thing. It's the myth in the industry that's actually true. Everyone who's selling you, almost, almost everyone, doesn't actually even know how to properly do what they're trying to teach you. So whether you take the vast majority of salespeople, the vast majority of people who are teaching you how to get leads and customers and grow a business, they don't really know anything they're talking about. A lot of times it's hired out. They hire a different agency or coach or a person to fill their services or products to the customer. Um, a lot of the times, um, if they are doing it, it's someone else on their team, not even themselves. Just know that basically in every scenario, it's all fake. It's, it's hard to know who's real, you know, it's hard to know who's real because most people uh, in this industry are 24 seven. Like, I mean, the vast majority of the time, they're lying to you and they probably will never stop unless the FTC shuts them down, which in most cases they probably should. Now, what's the reason that you want to come out with everything you're saying right now? You know, really my main concern, the reason why I'm, I'm making this video is so your audience can take some time to think about who they're buying from who they're getting messaging from, who they're talking to, who they're going to put their money with, all these different things. <sighs> um, it's hard to say, but you have to be careful. You have to be very careful with who you, you, you give your money to because almost everyone out there is trying to fuck you over. And the vast majority of influencers and people who are showing you their Lambo and showing you their big house and showing you these different things, a lot of their businesses are running on a 10%, 20% profit margin. They actually have a very low performing, not good business model for themselves. They alone they're helping their clients do it, but they can't even run a profitable business themselves a lot of the times. In fact, a lot of them actually run off of what you don't know. Well, I guess you know, but most people don't know is that a lot of them run off of debt. In fact, they run off of hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars of debt just to run their ads. That's not even including paying their advertising team, their marketing team, uh, their support people, their sales people, you name it, you know, it's, it's crazy. For those who are looking to make money online, you know, what should they do? When should they start? Give us some more kind of details and kind of their game plan they should follow. Yeah, I mean, the real kicker is that people don't have much time left, you know. Um, with AI, people even understand how advanced AI already is, yet what's going to become in two years, not 10 years. Or 20 years in two years what it's going to become and be able to do if you are looking or wanting to change your life to make more money to become a better person the time is literally right now you need to do it right now the moment you watch this video you need to work with John or work with someone else who's actually not a scammer someone who's legit in the industry and you need to work with them because if you aren't changing your life right now and you're working a regular job or you're a freelancer, I mean, or you're, you know, you don't have a lot of money in the bank saved, what's going to crush the entire world with just AI alone, not even including all the potential wars and everything else that's going to go on, um, what's going to crush the entire world over the next couple of years, um, you will not be prepared for it you will lose everything. If you don't make the change right now, like in the next few months, like I mean, literally, you, if you have a family, uh, the ones you care about, 
are all going to be going through massive struggle. Because you think times are tough now, you think things are expensive now, you think AI is a problem now, give just another 365 days. See what's going to happen. Because uh, you're going to hate it and you're going to hate yourself if you don't make the change now. And my last question, if someone wants to make a lot of money, what should they do? If you want to make it big, you need to have your own business. You need to have your own business, your own side hustle, some kind of income that you can control. You can decrease or increase your costs and how much you're making. Without a business, um, you will be absolutely screwed over the next couple of years. So, you know, I have to go, but uh, I just want your eyes to know that you need to be careful with who you're giving your money to. You need to work with people you can trust, work with people that seem and who feel ethical and who they teach and preach. They have in-depth training and in-depth content because otherwise they're, uh, they're going to fake you out like they faked out millions of people. Think about it. 